People are fearing that Lesnar will have another reign like The Rock had leading up to WrestleMania 29. What do you guys think about that? I think the WWE, they placed themselves into this situation, so they need to find a way out of it. Of course, from a business perspective, like let's just take the whole wrestling side of things, like with him ending the streak. Let's take it out. Like If they have plans for Brock Lesnar being the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, then they need to find a certain type of way to make it work make it happen because there's not anything written in stone to say that Brock Lesnar can only be on the show at this time or WWE can't renegotiate his deal or something like that. They have to work it out because they put themselves into this situation where I'm like Brock Lesnar better mow through every fucking person that comes in his path then make it work, make it happen. Well, do you think the problem with The Rock's the Rock's title reign was necessarily that he was a part-timer or that he always felt like he was doing something he wanted to do more. Like, he never really, it never really felt like the title was as important to him. It was just more about, he was on his movie set, and he was doing this, that, and the next thing. I think a little bit with Brock Lesnar, it'll feel like almost an increased level of importance. You know, Brock Lesnar can say, like, look, I'm not showing up to just fight any schmuck Ola off the roster. Like, you better find somebody that's actually got a shot at me. And it also, it'll almost feel like a UFC title reign. Like, I, I know I don't like the UFC stuff, and I don't really care that he fought in the UFC, but... I think at the same time, it won't necessarily feel like The Rock. It'll feel a little bit more important just based off the fact that he's not going to be doing other things. He's going to be sitting there, and he's going to be like, look, I'm going to show up and whoop somebody's ass, but it's going to be somebody that I think I want to whoop their ass first. And this is something that WWE is doing also. You mentioned uh, UFC title reign. I watched that promo, that leaked promo for Brock Lesnar's return and the match that he's going to have with John Cena at SummerSlam. It did not look like a wrestling promo at all. And you all know, like, I don't have any hesitation whatsoever in giving praise to the WWE production team as the best in the fucking world at what they do. Period. Point blank. But they did do something different with that promo. It seemed as if it was outside of the realm of professional wrestling. It took some elements from boxing. It took some elements from MMA and the UFC and I really liked it. It gave it a big fight feel and Maybe WWE will air it now that the match is official in their universe and we'll get a chance to see it. But I'm going to see if I can find that and post it on Twitter for you guys to see because it was a really well done promo. And it may be a harbinger of things to come if Brock Lesnar is to be the champion. Like instead of molding him to fit the organization, molding the organization to fit him. You know, I never thought of that, Charlie. Uh, you made a very interesting point because The Rock, I felt it was more of a... a publicity it wasn't, a, hmm? Yeah, it, was, like, it felt like more of a publicity stunt. But with Brock Lesnar, you know, you could really have this as the storyline. Brock, you know, he is a huge mainstream star. And UFC, like Charlie said, they don't always go out there and have the champions. I, I can't remember the last time the UFC Heavyweight Championship was defended. I can't remember the last time I watched the UFC show. But... This, despite that fact, I think that this could be a pretty decent idea. I personally, if I were a booker, would have rated until the Royal Rumble because, you know, it is a long way until we get to WrestleMania, but it is an interesting concept. As long as they can work out, I'm sure they can work out some uh, dates. Brock is just like any other human being. I'm sure he wouldn't be angry at a chance of getting more money. So there's got to be yeah. some way we can work this thing out. And another thing that we have to remember when we're comparing The Rock to Brock Lesnar I mean, I'm not checking his um, schedule or anything like that, but I don't think Brock Lesnar has any movies or he's not going to be on Regis and Kelly or, you know, The Tonight Show or things like that. So if WWE was willing to move forward with restructuring his deal to have him appear more often, it's not going to be like, ah, damn, you know. I have a talk show appearance that day. I can't, I can't be there. Or I have to be on the other side of the country because I'm filming a movie, so... I mean, Look, wait, 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 wait. I stop, 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 stop. We spent way too much time on this topic because comparing The Rock to, the, to Brock Lesnar is a moot point. Brock Lesnar ended the streak. The Rock didn't. Brock better win that fucking title. I don't give a fuck what the reign is going to look like because he has to capitalize on that momentum, and that's the bottom line for me. I'll tell you what but it is a focus. valid it is a valid comparison though because they are two guys who don't show up every week and to have a person like that win the championship of course people will have questions about how that championship reign will go 
It may not even last that long. Who knows? It might end at Survivor Series. It might end at Night of Champions. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I have. That's my response to that one. Okay, Will Smith. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know Roman Reigns was going to be ready that early. <laughs>